I know I'm under pressure. So because I kept begging her, Moji just stood to one side and didn't come. Stop with me! I'm not going anywhere! This is not fun for me! You're trying to be funny with me! Give me a fault! I have a purpose to fulfill! Just take me back! Guys, I know. This is not what I planned for this holy day! <laughs> family welcome again to another episode on the winning school of elegance channel today's episode is a very very interesting one and guess what i have mojibare shosonya back in the studio or rather back on the couch <laughs> girl welcome thank you you look so beautiful by the way thank you. You <laughs> so some of you may already know that mojibare and i took a girl's trip together to zanzibar right guys what you may have seen on screen <laughs> was us being all mushy, mushy, tingly, tingly, friendly, nice. But a lot happened on that trip that weren't or that wasn't so cool. That wasn't on camera. <laughs> Guys, it wasn't. And then Mojibari and I thought that it was best to come here and be transparent about those things that happened that we couldn't actually put on camera. So that we're talking about the other side of friendship that most people don't talk about. Me and Mojibadi have been having the argument about whether to call it, what to call it. I call it the dark side because a lot happened. Yeah, it was it was a lot. And today's episode is about us just trying to talk about it, keeping ourselves accountable to you guys, letting you people know that friendship is not easy, talking about everything that went through, how we were able to navigate through it all and still stay friends because trust me, we went through a lot. <laughs> So we're going to be talking about this in today's episode. So, <laughs> fasten your seatbelt because it's about to be a jolly good ride. Are we ready right. to be vulnerable? Of course, we have to be vulnerable so that we can um, Let's do this, inspire okay. the people who are watching. Yes. In case you're about to throw one friendship away or block somebody or write them off or what's that thing? Cut them cut off. Cut them off. No, <laughs> don't cut them off it's that not quickly. every time you bring out your pair of scissors and cut people off. <laughs> Sometimes you got to work on yourself yep. or on the friendship if yep. you think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I agree so, with that. So, let's get started. So, this video is going to be going on both our channels. Yeah. So, it's going to be very conversational. So, if you go on my on Moji's channel and you see the same thing, please rewatch it and learn more <laughs> and more and more because there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to be sharing in today's episode. Yeah. Girls! <laughs> Are you ready to be vulnerable? I am over ready to be vulnerable. Girl! Where do we begin from the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we begin this conversation? I think the trip... So, um, so when we even to Uganda and Uganda to Zanzibar was cool. It was Everything very cool. Was, we're yeah. still honeymooning. Yes. <laughs> it was very cool. But something I would say, and I think I'll open up to you at this point about since, since we're having a conversation. So let's, let's dive into it, moment. right? Moji calls me. Was it, Friday? was it four days before? We're, so we're traveling on Thursday and then Moji calls me on Friday or no, the Thursday before the that. Thursday before. Before and said, we need, we need to go to Zanzibar. We need to travel. We need a girl. No, but trip. we had been planning it, but we just didn't have a time. A time, yes. Okay. I agree. Yeah. So there was no, there was no time. And then she reaches out and she's like, I have to go on the 29th. If not, there's no opportunity for me to go anymore. again. Because like you all know, she's a very busy person. Truthfully, if I'm being very honest with you, it wasn't convenient for me in any way to take a trip at that time. Because at the beginning of the year, I had said to myself that I wanted to build memorable, grand memorable experiences with my friends. At the time, I really didn't have a lot of, it was just Kisiwa. And then I'm like, I now met Moji. You people already know that our friendship is quite new. So I met Moji and then she's giving me this opportunity to travel with her on a girl's trip. And I said to myself, okay, it's not convenient, but I'm going to make it happen. And I will say it's not convenient because before the day we traveled, I had a back-to-back -back shoot. Yes, and you were finishing late. Monday, and I was finishing 1 a.m., 2 a.m. into so the night. The Wednesday before the day, we traveled i literally finished my shoot at past one in the morning really and then i had to come back to my house pack for the trip so i was just very my sleep was disorganized my schedule was disorganized i was grumpy and i had to go on that trip it wasn't convenient but it was a sacrifice i had to make for the friendship not even for her i beg i don't understand i had to make that Who is in the friendship is it not me? Yeah, you see. <laughs> 
So but the, the point I'm trying to make here is that that's the first lesson you learn. We, we need to learn from this episode. It wasn't convenient for me in all honesty. And then even financially. I was about to say that. that financially, because... it was an expense that I really didn't plan to make at the time. But because I remembered my goal for the year. And then this was an opportunity to make memories with someone I am very, very, I love her so much. And I cherish what we have. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> the the um, inconveniences does not outweigh what I was going to get from the trip. And I said to myself, I will make the sacrifice. So I pushed, went against all odds, cancelled a lot of things. And I said yes to that trip. She said yes to me, guys. I said yes to me. <laughs> so that's the very first lesson I think that we learned from this experience. That sometimes you need to go above and beyond and make sacrifices for your friend. For her, it was she needed to make the trip. If not, she won't be able to do it again. And I considered her because she's also a very busy person. And then I said, okay, you know what? I will break my back to ensure that we make this happen. Because I know it would, have, it would mean a lot to her. So, so that's the she first did. thing I wanted she to did. say. So let me also, let me, let me respond to that. Okay. In the spirit <laughs> of friendship. Yes. So when your friend tells you that, you know, I did this to make you happy or to make it work. You should say thank you. So thank you. Oh. <laughs> You're thank you. And I know indeed that you actually broke your back because the ticket wasn't cheap. Girl. It wasn't cheap. <laughs> it wasn't cheap at all. But I'm really happy that you came on that trip. My pleasure. I, I enjoyed it. My pleasure. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, something else I also wanted to, want to talk about before we go into the trip proper was on the trip. Like, they were, remember, like, those of you who know me know that I don't joke with my sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and then because I hadn't really slept well for the past three days. days before that that particular trip, I was a little bit, gr- not a little bit, I was very grumpy. And well, then you managed to do well. Girl, that's what I'm about to say now. There were lots of unpleasant experiences. Would you know some of them that happened? Like, there were surprises to us. Um, We're not going to mention it here. That on a normal day should have gotten me even more grumpy, more emotional, more irritable. But I said, you know what? I was going to suppress all of that rubbish feelings. I was just going to stay inside. <laughs> and I had beautiful smiles on my faces because again, remember, it was all about making memories. Um, it took me a lot to ensure that I was making the right type of memories with with her because she too has also had also put a lot of time, energy, effort, sacrifice into making it happen as well. So I wasn't just thinking about myself now. I had to consider her feelings. I had to consider her as well. And I decided to suppress what I was feeling at the time just so that it would be a pleasurable experience for both of us. That's another thing that I know that I learned from the trip. And girl, you have no idea how much I learned about myself. Ah, interesting. From the trip. Because so we said this is the dark side of it and the off cam, but I'll just, of course, chipping a bit of yes. interesting parts as yes. well. When we were at the airport, Lagos airport, yes. Mitala, Mohammed, you know, you just taking random shots of me, making videos, taking lovely pictures of me. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Like, <laughs> and she knew that, of course, I had to create some particular type of content. content. And she was just, without even asking me whether I was, com- even if she was carrying one bag, one hand luggage, her sweater, everything, she would make sure, go, 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 go film me. She even care about her own content knowing that she also wanted content but she was so particular about me and that also taught me about friendship yes. uh, just putting your friend first, first yeah, yeah. It, was, it was very it was very important so anyway so the very first thing that i know that i learned from the trip was of course making sacrifices and then ensuring that you're showing the right emotions per time just because you are angry and irritable at something doesn't mean you show it sometimes you suppress it yeah. because you don't want to Ha- make that the highlight of oh, the moment. Now ruin the moment. You now ruin the moment. So you suppress the negative emotion you're feeling and not pretend that you're happy, but just be happy. Do you understand? Like she said, um, I was taking pic- I didn't even know that she, she noticed it, but for me, I knew it was important to her for her to get that content because she was actually on a work trip. It was a work trip for her as well. Yeah. So it was important to her and I knew that this would make her happy and I decided that I was going to do it. So yeah, that's she was the doing it all the way. Like she didn't even <laughs> care all the way. That's the very first part. Okay, so over to you. What okay. was your own? What, what were your Should own we, moments? I think I was more excited about the trip and being with you. Yes. Right, so I was just not even seeing. I was just so happy. Yes. I was so like, oh my god, because I was really worried you were not going to make the trip because of how you were shooting back to back and yes. closing late. So I think I was over the moon just being with you and just going on the. It was also my first girls trip. Me you too. know, I've gone on trips with other people who are. Not like my people, people. I mean, I said, for the watch it and say, like, hey, so I'm not your person, but okay, this talking. was my first closest friend trip. Mm. Girl, I mean, so I was very, I was just over the moon. That I was very happy. happy. I was like, yay. So I wasn't, I mean, they were there, but okay. it was not important. The one part I noticed that Moji got a little bit, um, in her feelings. Yeah. And it's totally <laughs> understandable. Yeah. When we were, when we finally arrived Zanzibar and then we started the journey to the hotel, we thought, okay, in five minutes we'll arrive at the hotel. <laughs> 
Something and, and I was just Moji started telling the driver, are we there yet? Put it on the map. <laughs> <laughs> and it was dark. Yes. I think Guys, that... imagine going on Bini or a road. No, no, it was that that road was horrible. 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 Like and I started getting car sick. So I get car sick occasionally. I started getting car sick. I noticed she became the so guy crazy. was it didn't seem like it was just like just there. It was mm. like put it on the map. Because mm. it was taking some funny routes and we well I thought they were funny, but that's the right that's road. That's the right road, yeah. I think we should say we'll soon be there. We'll soon be there. But I looked at the map, map was saying one hour something. I was like, oh no, we'll soon, we'll soon be there, please. <laughs> when she was busy doing all that in my mother I'm like get like beg, sit down. <laughs> Our angels are here. Yeah, yeah, you are so calm. I, I was like, how? I just wanted to get to the hotel. I, I think we're also tired. We're, we're tired. For a, a day plus. We're so, tired. Please. So when I noticed that she was all like, I was like, oh, should I, should I, should I appease this babe by telling her to calm down? But if I tell her to calm down, I should Actually, like, I noticed you were a bit calm. Also. I was, I was just very calm. didn't like, see anything. I was like, this girl does not know that. Why just going on one? In my mind, I just said, it's your life's journey. I just said to myself, <laughs> see, God did not tell me that I was going to, I'm going to die in that place. So anything going to happen to me. <laughs> Whatever happens, God will come and save us. It was a long trip. It was very, very bumpy. Long trip. It was Rose. a very long trip. So I, I noticed that she sick. got a little bit in her feelings, and now she's telling me it's her being car sick because I didn't know there was such a thing as being car sick. So now I'm learning that there's such a thing as car sickness, and she gets car sick. So it now tells me next time I'm experiencing a car moment with her, and she gets that way, I have to be understanding, understanding. of her, right? So in yeah. fact, this is therapeutic, though. It is. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we eventually got to the hotel. And then we checked in, and then it was when we were having dinner that she now loosened up. She became lively. Like, like, the holiday started. <laughs> we, got, we relaxed, and then eventually we had dinner. Mm-hmm. We went to the room. The room wasn't really all that. It was okay. It was just there, but we said, you know no, what? Winifred, so Winifred is particular about, now I know that. Yes. So she doesn't mind spending 20 million naira per night for um, hotel rooms because she's particularly about the ambience and the space because her house is pretty, very gorgeous, very, very. So if she's traveling, it has to be worth it. I yes. mean, you must stay in a place that is better than your house because yes. I like hotels and yes. so it must make sense. I mean, for me, the room was just okay, okay yeah. but for her she was like nah this one's like yeah, for you you said you, you gave the room four i mean i gave you six mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, i have it on tape <laughs> for the price that we paid i'll give this room a six over ten okay so that price though. moji said four <laughs> <laughs> but it was okay i mean for me i don't i think rooms don't i mean i like the room i mean the room has to be good but yeah it, it, it doesn't really matter it doesn't really to matter to as me. much as you find the fight okay and it's not smelly yeah I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got to the room. I'm like, okay, this room, no. For the amount of money we paid, actually, the room wasn't <laughs> giving what it should give. But again, remember, it's all about creating memorable experiences. I said, okay, no, you know what? I'm not going to show that I'm upset about this room. I'm just going to be happy and enjoy every second of it. And then we eventually went to bed that day. Yeah. And then the adventure. <laughs> Guys, the adventure began the next day. Oh, before then, let me, let me, let me say this though. Um, you must also be very um, tolerant of your friends, True. and you know you were on the call. Yes, and because we shared one room. Yes, it wasn't like you, the, you, the it was disturbing me. Okay, but some people would be like, oh, "Why is she on the call? Why is she?" No, mm. didn't mind. I'm like, it was, she was happy. Mm. I was, I was, I liked that you were happy. So mm. me, so it, it, when I had to take a call, I went into the bathroom to quickly go. I said, "I'm on the call. Oh. I cannot talk there." No, no, I didn't oh, yes, mind. I I'm just saying she was talking with them. <clears throat> <laughs> a gentleman. <laughs> But I promise you, I was so happy that you were happy because you were just laughing. I was like, oh, my baby's on the call. Yeah, so they're pressing phone and just doing Instagram content and putting up my the work post I had before. Yes. So for some people, be like, but the you know, children said I want to sleep. I did. She kept on asking mm. me though. She asked me if I was okay. And I said I was okay because I was genuinely okay. okay. I was actually fine. I didn't mind that you were on the call. You know, so just in case you're not able to accommodate that, just be tolerant of your mm, friends. So she's happy one. being on the phone with her man. And <laughs> that's I was one. on my phone. You know, that's a good but I didn't mind. And if I had to take a call, I had some like two, three calls in between. I went into the bathroom. Yeah, she did. I was actually. whispering. I was like, oh, my friends are the call. She did. Too much. <laughs> she did. She did. Oh, that's so. Mm-hmm, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I didn't I actually didn't remember that. No, no, yeah, I just, yeah. So, so that's another know, like, lesson. You don't keep complaining. I watch on the phone. I want to sleep. No. Yeah. And then I also believe that I. For the moji I know now, I know that if he bothered her that I was on the phone, she would have said, girl. I beg, it's time to, to shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, cause I was actually expecting that that would happen if yeah. you didn't like mm-hmm. the fact that I was on the phone. But since she didn't do that, I was like, okay, maybe she, she does it. She didn't mind. I didn't mind. 
but she was tolerating me and that's okay. Tolerating yeah, is because we were word. tired and we were supposed to be we sleeping. We were, but, uh, but you were having a good time. <laughs> but I didn't mind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I had other things to do anyway. So yeah. So that's mind. a good lesson. That's a good one. So now we are moving to the next day, eh? Where it all started. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now day two, where it's all started so we had a good time at breakfast yes it was really yeah, good very good time we also liked the breakfast can we talk to them about how, how we're they, we literally will go to breakfast later and these people have to chase us out we're always the last would you and i will be there till we'll not be the last to they will not have they will turn up ac <laughs> and say okay you people should go for lunch please <laughs> it's time to clear out it was so funny though but everywhere we went they knew us everybody knew from the we airport went. Every, such that even when we came back, we we're like, you guys just left some days ago. <laughs> I remember everybody you. knew us, and that's that was because we were such we were we're one so delight. Happy. There was we're, we're just there was a lot of joy. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. <laughs> it means no worries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they they won. Okay. Official day one. Official day one. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's our friend's name? Um, Hillary. 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 No, no, Hillary is a driver. Hillary is a driver. Um, How did you forget his name? Our friend. Ah. No, but that's bad. That's bad. We met the head of customer care or customer relations at for, the hotel. For Milia. For Milia. We that Milia hotel. Milia was by beautiful, the way. by was the way. Such a beautiful oh, very place. expensive, mm-hmm. but um, very, very beautiful. Should we say expensive? Okay. No, expensive is relative. For what we got, did we get value right. for our money? I think we did. We now realized that we got value when we moved Went to the to next resort. So. That, yeah. Do you, do you get... Is this better than Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, this is all being real. <laughs> No, I we're cutting. Okay, so it's not being real. Prosper! Prosper! I forget Prosper. That's his name. Prosper was such yeah. a delight. We wanted to hear from someone who lived in Zanzibar to say, you know what, what should we do? Mm-hmm. So he told us for the for day one, mm-hmm. we should do Stone Town, Stone Prison Town. Island, Nakupenda. Yes, those, yeah, three. those three things. Those three things. Yes. And how are we going to get there? So we, um, the driver will drop us at um, the jetty mm-hmm. and then we'll go to, we'll then take a boat to the, the three places, the three but places. we'll start from one. When we got there... Wait, first of all, when he was saying these things to us, he didn't, we didn't explain know. explain the intricacies. He didn't explain. <laughs> He just said, when you is getting animated, it's about to get real, guys. This is where it started. <laughs> he did not tell us that things were going to happen, how we're going to get there. He just said, we'll use a boat. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, when I hear a boat, I mean, nice, you think beautiful, gorgeous boat. Me, yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was expecting. So we now go, okay, let me, let me so tell the story. We got there and then the driver, Hillary, handed us over to a tour guide who looked very nonchalant. You know, kept. I think... <laughs> Yes. I think we were expecting a tall guy. You know what you mean by, oh, a tall guy? You say, oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Just like, ah, oh, come. In fact, I was actually so absent minded when we were talking to him and asking him what boat we're taking. Anyway, we eventually got there. As we were about to get on the boat, I was like, is this the boat we're going on? I was like, oh, yeah. I'll insert the boat somewhere if I have the clip. If you have it, I think we made a video yeah, of we it. Did. And, um, she was like, where's our life jacket? I mean, we should ask for that because safety is important. The guy said, oh, he's on the boat. So we, I mean, we believed him. And then, oh, before then, when we first started saying, this type of boat that um, some actor died on. And for me, I'm big on. I wanted us to be positive. Yeah. I'm like, first of all, that was not the kind of image I wanted. I mean, I don't want to enter that kind of a boat, but we shall got on the boat. And then Winifred went on about this guy, about this guy's story, his death, and this boat that looks like he did not have life jackets. I'm like, Winifred, don't worry, we'll be fine. You know, like, you know what made me afraid the most is the fact that this so called tall guy, tall and guy the captain, what's the, and the person who says, what, operating the machine, don't call them. <laughs> name those people are not sailors i beg <laughs> the guy operating the machine they had no value whatsoever for human lives they were they were quite non-challenged, non-challenged. but, but fact, i think that stems from the fact that they do it every day so they take it for granted like they really took it for granted they weren't insistent insistent on us wearing the life jackets first of all the life jackets they gave us was dirty. dirty very dirty. dirty we didn't wear them so let's just report ourselves so we held them just in case we had to emergency there was an emergency we had to wear them but they were so they looked we didn't smell them but they looked stinky and dirty, dirty. and unkept and they just i mean i wasn't going to wear wear, wear life jackets but we held them right so we got on the boat <laughs> <laughs> we got on the boat 
and then okay we're supposed to go to stone, stone town, town first, first because the waves coming there were a little high the t- it was very i mean the mid i was like hey turbulence or water i don't want a big mm. anyways but we're already on water so we're going gisting winifred was a little no not a little she was very scared. Babe, see, when we first started the journey, right? It was smooth. We saw a few boats. It was boats around we saw, us. And there was one boat that had a lot of, um, maybe American, I'm not sure where they yeah. were from, but foreigners and pretty So that kind of like calmed me down. But they were doing like, their own tour. But we were the only two. And of course, you know, when you're on that kind of boat, you have to balance out the weight. So I sat away from Winifred and then she was with the tour the guide. Side. The tour guide in quotes and then with the sailor, whatever yeah. it is that he was. What, what's that, what are they called? The people who stayed there. Girl, he was operating the machine. <laughs> no, so like, I don't know, for, the, for my knowledge, it's called the sailor. It's sailor, yeah. Sailor. Sailor. But uh, now they're supposed to be captains. Be by be. Didn't, didn't captain anything. <laughs> anyway, so the guy, so I was there, then all of a sudden, got a bit turbulent. <laughs> and then at that point, I had to leave where I was. So turbulent so that water was getting in the boat. It was really bad. Mochi. It was actually, it was, so I won't take, no, no, wait, Winifred. It was bad. Mm-hmm. Then Winifred is like, no, no, I don't want I this. Can't do this I can't No, no. Oh, by the way, so sorry. before then, sorry. it's fine. Sorry. Before then, um, they were not talking about so she was she was not just in the tour guide about the same actor that died and me I believe that water has a spirit I mean I'm I'm Christian I believe in God but I'm just like I don't want us to talk any negativities whilst we're on water I'm like can we get on like I, I can give him the gist even me I'll even go to the guy's page and show him see this is picture he passed to me so rest in peace and you know we're not making jokes but we're just trying to say that this was kind of both they were on they didn't have life jackets and so the memories were very fresh yeah, and really fresh it was my fresh memory. In my mind. Um, in her mind, it hurt me that that guy died. I was, I mean, very sad, you know. It really but hurt me. You know what I also remembered? I remembered that when he passed, there was a video trending of him making a um, making jokes that, oh, if I pass, my family. And so I didn't want us to talk about anything death at all. So I was so even so at some point when I was just saying the, the tour guide about what happened to the guy and what happened, you know, he's a Nigerian actor, quite popular, and people were really sad when he passed. Next thing, I'm hearing capside. I'm like, I just thought, like, please, can you not mention that word? word capsize on this water you know i was already getting agitated like can we stop so winifred was she was expressing her fear because one those people were just so not as if they looked like they were amateurs but i mean we but they our lives to them and i'm like why would i entrust my life to this person i have she a purpose to fulfill we were, we were like, i have a purpose to fulfill i cannot die, I cannot die. <laughs> So all that talk was instilling so much fear in me. Let me tell you guys. But she remained. I was so calm. calm. She was so I calm. Know the, I mean, I get scared easily. She was so but calm. But on that boat, because I was like, we cannot die. She was so calm. At some point, let me be honest with you guys. It got really turbulent. It's like terrible. The, the boat was swaying left and right. I literally, I mean, at some point, it flashed. I thought we were going to actually drown. But I still held on strong. She After was a while, strong, I bet. I held really first hand, held the talk, and I started speaking in tongues loudly. Which was like, when the goes, stop, let's turn back, I can't do this, this is not fun for me, I don't know, and you know how, you know, her voice is high pitched, and then imagine her voice being high pitched with a lot of fear, it was scary. Ah. I was like, you know what, let's turn back, but the guy said, we're turning back, but apparently we're not turning back, we, they kept on going, kept going forward. Like, stop, stop this man, I'm not going anywhere, this is not fun for me. At that point, I just held on, I was just like, don't worry, I was, I was kabashing. No, 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 Moji, at some, Moji, Moji lost it at some point. I was like, what is it? Shut up. No, no, I didn't say shut up. I didn't say shut up. I said, you're afraid, stop, because there was so much in the air, in fact, not in the air, on the water. She lost it on me. Yes, I won't even lie. It was, was good. good. I liked it that she did that. And I'm like, how was I that calm, she was calm in the midst of that crazy turbulence? And she was calm. Water was getting, when I say water, like it wasn't splashes, so it was, Scopes, scopes, scopes of water was on the boat, as in, and it was swaying, like sway, not normal sway. It wasn't a gentle sway; it was a heavy sway. And then one more thing: we looked around. There was nobody. nobody. There was nobody. There was nobody. nobody. As in, nobody. I said, if we had capsized into that water, nobody would know. As in, how we. There was no so you know when we, when we started the journey. Oh, no, guys. There was no but there were some boats in you know, inside people were coming in and I out. Have PTSD, just that like thing about traumatized it. Winifred so much. Anyway, so after I mean maybe after like a couple it it changed because I was checking the time. I saw land at first. I was like, okay, we're close we're enough. We're close soon, but it was it was turbulent till we got there. It wasn't even it wasn't funny, but I don't know how I stayed calm. This girl was <laughs> calm. I'm grateful just, that she was calm. Because imagine both of us being fearful. I'm we, we, that that could have even killed us before. Yes. I mean before the before I'm anything. That it was, was calm. that experience was not funny, but thank God we survived it. Winifred said, I'm not going back this way. I don't care if it takes us twenty four hours to get back to land. 
go back to her hotel, call the driver. I know she wasn't having it. She was not having it at all. So when we got, you know, um, to Stone Town yes. and we got out of the boat, Winifred was still shaking from the experience. So we tried to talk about it. She was like, no, no, no. She was like, you know, you, you left our lives in there. I'm like, no, that God is the one. Yeah. She was like, no, but if God God it. thinks that we should be responsible, she was like, what's wrong? I saw her in a different light. She was so angry. I mean, I was just like, "Is one on vacation?" <laughs> of the experience. She just said, "Okay, anyways, that she, she's done for today. I can continue the rest of the trip. Go to Nakupenda. Go to um, she's not going anywhere again. But of course, we're together." It won't be fun if I go anywhere and then go for a beer. And I say, if something happens, I say, you too. Your friend says she's not going. You now went. So I just said, I'm not going anywhere. What are we going to do? We'll just do here. We don't and then we'll go back to the hotel. What do you have to say? Girl, I had a lot of tales to tell. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I put it very mildly for you guys. Oh. But being on that boat in the midst of that turbulence was not funny. Mm. Really, Fred? I have a purpose to fulfill. Just tell me. Guys, I was thinking about my WSC community. <laughs> what, what did I tell God that I I went for it and I can't die? Take us back, please. I'm not having fun. This is not fun for me. I know I'm under pressure. She, she went. We said I went ballistic. She I did. did. I, she went ballistic. And to be honest with you, I'm not the type of person. I think I feel no, but when mm-hmm. we had calmed down, I feel you a bit when you were like, I'm not doing this. I don't want to do it. She went. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> so see, yes. I'm not the type of person to express fear. <laughs> I don't express fear. When I, I feel it sometimes, but I don't give it expression. But the reason why I had to give that one expression was because, first of all, I didn't see the reason or the, or why, 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 like two sensible human beings, Moji and I, will entrust our lives. Moji has a purpose too. <laughs> we will not entrust our lives to somebody who did not see the premiumness of our lives. This guy was looking very... But they kept on, so they were like, don't worry, it's normal. But when was like, I don't care. Okay, I'm not I'm going not to interested. entrust my life to you. <laughs> so when we started the journey, felt like, okay, I could do this. I can do this. Then we now got to the middle of the ocean. Actually, that I looked like, left. I looked right. I didn't see any bones. And it was a that was when large... I as in, you know when you look here, like... There was no if land. anything happened to us, would as in we just go and nobody would know. They would, because there was nobody no else. Land. We were, All we the sea land. had gone. And I just remember when the guy who said that the solution comes here because it was a bit turbulent that we shouldn't sail towards that side yet. So I was just like, why did you My dear sail? people, <laughs> that was when I freaked out. She, she I remembered freaked. my whole life. I remembered you people. I remembered her. I remembered my mom. I remembered, I'm like, no, this is not how I leave this earth. <laughs> and if I now go, God will now say, did I send you to that water? Send it. <laughs> you know, this is what you are seeing, oh, eh? guys. This is like sh- <laughs> pro. That day was pro, pro, pro max. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I put it on that. No, it's fine. It was so all of us had to be calm. Yeah, she was calm. Though. I'm so when I was praying and speaking in tongues, the guy was the guy. It was laughing. Was laughing at us. He was laughing. He, I, I don't even know if he was laughing at me. He was laughing, he was laughing at, at everything. Because I just started was was lasting in tongues. Yeah, it, like, was, it wasn't a good experience. And I'm so grateful she kept the boldness for us. In fact, and that is also another reason why you should have friends that share the same value with you. Because at the time when I lost it, my friend was there to step in for me, standing for me, all the angels, calling so everybody, yes. reminding me that, girl, you are a child of God. <laughs> Nothing can happen to you. But me, I, I actually was like, even God was supposed to be responsible. But she got that experience, nah. So I think that that, that what happened now affected us when we now finally got to Stone Town. Me, I was not carrying. At some point, I started carrying my face. Mo just started carrying her face. So, we were still short content. We wanted to do that content. No, no, it was when we did that much. So let me tell you guys, when we did that. Moji and Winnie, welcome to Zanzibar. Zanzibar. We're not talking. We're not talking. <laughs> she, she was not like, girl, you better smile. <laughs> me when i'm angry i show it you will read it from my face i cannot hide it so she was like girl you know, like, i have to fake one smile i was like yeah because my paid <laughs> so we had to do it so that was part one now part two now we had this content that we started in nigeria where we jump over and then you transition to the vacation that 
um, famous content. The tall guy was going to take us round Stone Town. There was a misunderstanding that happened because she thought she was talking to me and I didn't answer. And I thought she was being dismissive when, so I came up with a, a different idea, idea for, for us to do the content. I just thought of something that would be nicer. And then she was like, I just showed them, just showed them. And I was like, ah, when is everybody listening to me? So I got in my own feelings, you know, plus all the water experience had. But, but let me say why I said that. Okay. I'm the one who was going to edit the video and the concept Moji was bringing was going to be a lot, uh, was going to be very complicated it's really because those people there those guys i realized that they couldn't speak english and the fact that we were already there was a lot of stress i'm like okay you know what tell them your idea i beg don't put me inside the middle because i, I was still so, I I think, so how she thing. said it was yeah it was how like i said, said take them um, i yeah i beg it was not like, it was like just it was, it was quite dismissive and i felt a bit hurt so me i entered my feelings and i was sulking oh she took it off oh, she <laughs> entered she left the door she said i'm not coming out of here do you know <laughs> we went on a tour the tour guy must have been confused like, these two people do not come together <laughs> We were walking apart. The guy was talking. At some point, was talking to himself. I was, oh my, just doing other things. We now went to sit at the restaurant. Yeah, there was a restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> one rooftop. After we walked Stone Town, in fact, she didn't see me. She was just like, "Can we be done? I'm just." I go. just wanted to go. So home. at that point, we we're also buying time to wait for the driver to come and because you know the driver, did, we we came with a boat. The driver had to drive all the way to come to Stone Town to come and wait. About we should hour, ordinarily, minutes. We should ordinarily have gone back with the boat, which was like 20, 25 minutes or twenty mm-hmm. minutes yeah. ish. When first said she was not going by boat, which was, I mean, fair, fair. Right, so we're waiting for him. We did the tour. The tour was not touring because the guy was just talking to him. So Winfred was. We saw how people were doing their own tour. They sat where he's taking notes. Winfred was just like, "That was a mistake we made." Because Prosper, right, the person at the hotel that gave us the guy gave us two options of either going with a company or a private or or just a regular random um, private car. Private car, okay, okay. Yeah. So we now said, okay. He now told us that the company was going to be more expensive. But funny thing, wasn't even that the difference. Yeah, it wasn't so much. So we now decided to go with the private car, and that was also not cheap anyway it wasn't cheap <laughs> so we went with the private car and that's why we got what we got but i think if we had gone with the company things would have got turned out a lot a different. different yes anyway so we then went up to sit you know we sat up at the restaurant and we were not talking to each other for over 45 no, babe, minutes we spoke so when they when? gave us the menu to order I something understand. and i said are you ordering and then i was i i was <laughs> sure looking at me i'm like are you ordering <laughs> With an attitude, girl. No, I was like, oh, what? I was like, because I'm like, this girl is such a baby. Why is she stressing me? Doesn't know. Doesn't she know what I, I've gone through? Did she, did she, she know? I saw you dismissed my idea and made me seem like I, I was saying rubbish. Anyway, so oh, by the way, so we bought one scene so we could share. So we and then we also loaded the data on her phone. So she had the scene, and so everywhere we went to, she had the hotspot. Because we we're not talking, I didn't have internet. I was playing games for <gasps> forty-five minutes. Are you serious? Yes. You know what I'm not doing. And now increase the volume of the game so that she will see that I'm playing game and she will say, ah, let me give this girl a hospital. She don't turn on the hospital. <laughs> I, I was not playing. I was so angry. I could not ask her. It was not later. They now give us, I mean, there was Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi at the restaurant. But you know, you're playing game like, ah, this girl will not sit down here. I was I not playing game. Know, I, was not I, I didn't know that. I was playing game for 45 minutes. I was angry. I was like, I will not ask this girl for this password. <laughs> but I will not ask her to turn on because I had the password, but it was not on. I will, I will not ask her to turn on the hotspot. My God. <laughs> We're not talking. And I met. I said, well, I was not like, wait, wait. What's wait. going on? Day here? one of, official day one of this holiday, and we're already fighting. I just said, you know what? I'm not going to do this. Let me be the bigger person. I said, um, sorry, Winifred, what's going on? Like, why? Was I, what was your response? First of all, let me put in my past. When she turned to me and she was like, Winifred, what's going on? We're so much like, not like from a place of girl. Like, girl, what's going on here? Like, can you stop this from <laughs> So I was like, uh-huh. what do you, what, what, like, in my mind, I was like, no, nothing, nothing, I'm fine, I'm cool. Yeah, that's what she said. I'm like, I'm and I said, nothing. that's not, that. Like, I mean, are we okay the way we are? Like, how can we be on holiday and we're not talking to She's like, no, that's just okay. Everything's fine. Then... She now said something like, girl, I beg, I'm not interested. No, 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 she asked me. You asked me. I asked her to talk about. No, are we going to finish up the content that we started? Oh, yeah. She now said, you're talking about content. <laughs> After what I went through. Girl, I think. <laughs> <laughs> there was also something else. Like, can we just talk about, like, what happened? Like, why are you ignoring me? And you're like, girl, please, I'm not interested. And then I told you that I was trying to, after you had tried, so this is what happened. Moji tried to pitch an idea to me. I felt like the idea was just a lot because I knew what I had in mind about how I wanted the video to turn, to turn out at the end after editing. So when I noticed that her idea was complicated, I was like, yeah, I was wrong for brushing her off the way I did, which I eventually apologized. But when I noticed that she got in her feelings because of that, I now started to draw close to her to say, okay, girl, okay, let me hear your content. Let me hear your idea. So I kept making moves, making moves. 
make like four moves at Moji, trying to tell her, okay, okay, now I want to hear you because I knew she had gotten into her feelings, but she was already in that feelings. She locked the door. She wasn't going to come out. But, but do you know that? Not, not that she's, no, even when you so, said it, I was like, I don't remember you trying to talk it, to me. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I tried. You were, came, I even came with my phone. I'm like, okay, let's do it this way. Okay, like, okay, okay. And what was my then she now ignored me completely. It was when she ignored me four times that I said, okay, you know what? <laughs> I know how to. You know how they say two can play that game? Girl, you did, I beg. <laughs> So that was when me too and I got in my feelings because at the time when I noticed that I was dismissive to her, I noticed how she took it. I was like, okay, you know what, Winifred, step back, step back, try to make things right. And I started telling her, okay, tell me the content, tell me, let's do this. But she now kept ignoring me and I said, okay, no problem. Let's go inside and here. let's all be in our feelings. You now wait on the tour, it's a part. So the girl was talking half here, half there, <laughs> we're just confused and it was it was it was it then at the restaurant Mojina came and asked she said Winifred are we doing the content I said content I'm not interested I beg mm-hmm. I'm already in my in my feelings but she was like we have to finish the content we have to that will be I was like okay you know what the talk the driver eventually now came we now started going to the car and they all now got to the car Moji said it again content I was like you know what let's just go and do this she content. was not going to do that content mm-hmm. for what this girl me that naturally I'm not even a content person so because of her we already started this thing let's just finish let's finish so I said, okay, let us go and do you it. You guys, you won't believe that when we shot that crossover, <laughs> jump over, the one we arrived in Zanzibar, we, we were not talking. talking. We were not talking. We just shot content and left. We weren't talking. We eventually shot Even, it. So, and, and it required us holding hands and jumping and, and being happy. Hands. And we were, hey, we were happy. Hey. When we jumped over, we were like, hey. We were not talking. No. <laughs> Another lesson. Not everything you see on social media, you take. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the first story. <laughs> so we eventually shot the content and then we went back. It was a quiet drive home. Back home. I just was looked my ears. I think hour, I even slept. One hour drive She's like, back. And I was like, girl, I beg. <laughs> We didn't talk. We eventually got back. It was late. We had two key cards for the room, but I think I put them with my phones. So it had this, it had deactivated. I had to walk back. I was so angry. So I told her that, you know, let me just go and reactivate the card and I'll be right back. So I walked really fast. So when we, when I got to the reception, I was trying to reactivate the cards. I think I was lost in thoughts, thinking about this is how this holiday would just go sour and then we just mess up everything we had planned. And so being lost in the thoughts and then you tapping me, I was like, geez, I was, I was, I was yeah. so stuck. So she said, can I have the second card? I was like, no, no, I said, please leave the second card with them. With them because we're still reactivating yes. it. So yeah, but pretty much asking for the second card, I was like, ah, so that's it. We have divorced. <laughs> No, I was, like, I was so, in my feelings that so night. So I went into the room. Let me now be honest. I couldn't even tell. I couldn't call anyone because I was like, who would I tell that? First day of holiday, we're already fighting and we're not talking. So I just sit, slid on the bed. I was just thinking of what to do. Next thing to, so I think I, I tried, I couldn't sleep to be fair. I was trying mm-hmm. to sleep, but sleep was not coming. She now came into the room. I intentionally didn't go into the room immediately. She I stayed back for like two eat. hours. Yeah, she went because, away. And that actually also made me rea- understand the dynamic between a husband and a wife when the husband or the wife will say they're not coming home because i don't want to go and face what i know is about is waiting for me in the impending house. danger <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't looking forward to it when she came i think she was now on the call on the phone somebody called her right and she was like i'm just doing no this. you were asleep no you no, were asleep. I was not asleep and, and I, I went out to the balcony balcony yes and i was and like I, yes and then she was saying something like i'm done with this trip yes with this holiday no no <laughs> No, no, don't How worry. was it? <laughs> I got up from the bed, guys. So we, the room was quite big. No, it was big. I left the room. The bathroom area was, and the closet area was also very big. Oh, I sat. I went to the bathroom. I sat there and I cried. Don't paint me as a villain. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. When I said I was, I don't know who she was talking to. I was like, oh, no, no. Think I'm a bad person. No, when I said I've, made, I've lost my friend, I don't have any friend. I was. I was no, sad. when I said I was done with the trip, guys, that experience on that water, I'm not joking. Us even talking about it now still gives me PTSD. That's how much that experience was. was a lot, sir. So it was, I wasn't talking about you. I was no, talking I about know. that experience. So, okay, so that, so, so take use from that. Yes. I didn't know she was not talking about me. It wasn't about you. But I mean, I'm part of the trip or part of the holiday. So mm-hmm. it just felt like I'm done with this no. girl. That's how we, that's, that's what I heard. Because you know how somebody says something, but you hear, what I heard was I'm done. Because and you I just were in your felt, feelings. I was my feelings. But you would know the next day when we talked about it, what did I tell you? That this was normal, like yeah, expected. Yeah, it was about to happen. That if we, if we didn't anyway. have a fight, there was going to be something not okay. Anyway, sir, I cried. I cried for over an hour. In fact, I slept off in that place. She cried. And I now came back and I was like, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I don't have any friend anymore. We manage it. We shut out. I was just like, I would call uh, the editor and I say, move my ticket. I'm going home. I'm done. 
slept, woke up, she woke up before me, she did her thing, she was so, dressing up. We are dressing up. Just singing. So I was, I was like, woke up. Let me tell this part I beg. This is my favorite part of the story. <laughs> Pretty for the day, like because I was like, oh, fresh new energy. day, new, new, day, new, new energy. energy. I've gone outside to to took some of that vitamin C D from the sun. <laughs> like I was glowing, I was fresh. I was like, Mm-mm. negative <laughs> energy be gone. So I was trying to look pretty now, and then I wanted to be done, and then I'll go and tap her and wake her and say, babe, oh yeah, we need to have a conversation. That was what I planned to do. The next thing. <gasps> No, 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 don't be, don't, don't be, don't be, guys, no, that's not what happened. When I woke up, she was like, good morning. Of course, me, I'm still like, I don't talk, because I was like, I just answered her, good morning, like, she was like, oh, good morning, I can't remember what she said. I said, ah, it's not how you're going to answer me. I was like, what do you want me to like, what's wrong with you? I just went, I don't plan to greet her anyway, I'm going to be honest, I was like, she just want to carry face. I woken up with renewed energy to carry face. So she was not like, so she was just like, good morning. I was like, morning. And then we got to like, energy for energy. She now goes, ah, is that your answer? I was like, because now I was ready for the new deal. I was I, interested. <laughs> and I carried it over. Mom, she started crying. I was like, ah, I said, what I did. Like, you say this. She was like, crying. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Why are you crazy? I said, okay, if you don't stop crying, I'm not going to allow you to move from here. Just held me. I held you out. <laughs> I held her. I, she said, this is not what I planned for this holy day. What did I want? What did I want? What did I want? She was really crying. I just, had, I just went. I said, I'm not leaving you until you stop crying. She continued for a bit and I was like, see, babe, this so thing bound is to bound to happen. We are two human beings, grown up women, confined in one room. <laughs> we have hormones, emotions. We just dealt with an issue. It was, it's bound to happen. Yeah, yeah I was like, Rosie, 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 I beg. I didn't know. I was like, please, no stress on this. And this is day. actually the whole point of this episode. To let you know that there's that side of relationships that you have to deal with. It's the hard part. So when it happened, me, I was looking forward to it. And I was looking forward to waking up and having the conversation with her. Like, it was important that we had that conversation. And that was why I wanted to start when I said, good morning, like, try to greet you and all. Then she now started crying. But thankfully, her cry actually also helped, helped with the bond. Because I said to people, we can't we can't <laughs> I said to people that I was the bully on the trip and she was the baby. Because Moji has a very soft heart. She has a big personality, but she has the softest heart. The smallest thing gets to Moji. So I now I realized that very quickly and I said, okay, you know what? Girl. So I started treating her like the baby <laughs> in the relationship. So that morning she cried. We I got her to stop crying. And then I, I think also what happened to her that made her very emotional was because she I say it, it was the time of the month for her. <laughs> so you can imagine dealing with a lot of homeless. Yeah, it was a lot. So I because of that, I understood that she must have been dealing with a lot. I was like, you know what? Like, make this thing right. So I, t- I, I cuddled her, petted her, made her go take her bath. Then we went to breakfast and that was where we, we had the conversation. <laughs> we had the conversation. She told me where she thought I was, I went wrong and how, what hurt her. And, and she apologized I and apologized. I apologized because again, it's not enough to talk about it. Yeah. You must be sincerely sorry and then she did and we, of course, now we're back. We, like, it was like a switch. Boom, we're back and to, we're back to being, being us. We did Johnny, Johnny. Johnny. Yes. We did another content <laughs> again. So yeah, that was what, um, that was that first experience but it taught me so much and one thing okay, okay no, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> one thing i also learned from this experience is when we were at stone town i want to talk about it in that mm-hmm. moment That's right true. and so i learned that um um during the course of the trip that you all like to process things then talk about it me i want to like no no let's talk about it and move on i don't want i don't want to drag this thing any longer so you must understand the other person so at some point we're meeting in the middle so mm-hmm. even though she was already talking about it she would just wait a bit i mean not as long as she would have wanted to wait i'm like girl yes yeah, so this thing should not drag a bag you're yeah. spot on yeah yeah so yeah that was that was that experience for me it taught me it taught me a lot and one thing i know for sure that that experience did was it brought us closer yes yes it brought us closer because of the way we eventually handled it some people would have said you know what that's, that's the end of it what's all this girls girls actually split on because holidays of stuff yeah, like friendships that. actually break from holidays but we remember the value that we had like what we what how much we hold of the, the friendship how important it is to us and we said no this fight we have it had, cannot even be the i mean it's not it's possible not and i think for me also right what what helped me is i prayed for winifred i prayed for this friendship Same, to yeah. come and i was like god 
God gave me this friend, I'm not going to just throw it away because of ego or anger or a little misunderstanding that we can easily resolve. It's, we're still going to have True. more to, I mean, and it's not a curse. Yeah. It would have it's more normal, misunderstandings. Yeah. It would happen because it's normal. friendships in like 50 years friendship, they'll still argue. You, you get so I did. I was like, I'm not going to throw it away. So I was like, God gave me this friend. I'm not, I have to give myself brain and not just discard it because of one tiny, she ignored me, she dismissed me. Okay. We talked yeah. about it and we moved and on. We moved on. We apologized. But that was not where it ended, though, guys. <laughs> Please. You would think that after all yeah. fights will be done, in we're fact, not yeah. done. Me and this girl were like husband and wife on a trip. <laughs> no husband and wife that just met each other and they are just honeymoon face and they're like, like they are no sense. <laughs> so I think the next one happened total. Okay. So you would narrate this one, <sighs> guys. <laughs> The next one was so after the whole water thingy, any activity that we wanted to do, the co- first question that we asked is what does it involve water? So Prosper came again and said, okay, these are the activities that do not involve water. The first one was us seeing the swimming with the turtles. So when he said swimming with the turtles, me what I expected to see was clear blue sea with turtles in it. Then you have them um, like an ocean, and then you have sit down areas where you can just relax, sip margaritas and stuff. <laughs> I mean, in Zanzibar, that's what we see on the internet, Abby. We now got to the place. I'm like, sorry, swimming with the turtles. Is this it? It was cool. It was cool. I mean, it, it was cool. Nice, but though. for me personally, guys, I'm, a, I'm extra. I know. I wasn't going to swim in that water because one, I thought that the water was stagnant. There were lots of people in it. I'm like, everybody's body has entered. So I'm like, from the very onset it was of like the a goal, pond. Like a yeah, pond. Yeah. It was not flowing. It wasn't it was flowing. Not... So from the onset, I said to myself, Mm-mm, I'm not doing this. Don't worry. I will be a spectator and watch and take content. Moji, I could tell clearly she was divided. She wanted to do it. At the same time, she didn't want to do it, but she wanted to do it more than she didn't want to do it, like go into the water and swim with the turtles. So when I noticed that she really wanted to do it, and I said, I said, okay, you know what? We are going to do it. I was going to encourage her to do it. So we pulled, I pulled her from the top where we were. We now got to the foot of the bank the, area of the, of the water where you, where you could actually just go and have the experience. Oh yeah, now Moji, go. <sighs> Go and touch this turtle. And all I wanted to do was actually just make videos of her and make content of her doing it so that at least she can have that memory. Mm -hmm. Sister went 360 on me (laughs) immediately. This girl is... She was so afraid of the turtles. I was. Ha! You see that water one? Okay, this is where the tables turn. <laughs> you see how I was afraid of water? Big water, I was afraid of turtles. No, but so funny thing, when my friend, when I when we were now, when my friend had called and said I that because they actually bite. When we now go there, remember that that woman that was saying they actually beat her because she was feeding them. She was supposed to drop it, but she was holding on to their food. And so they grabbed it, they reached out for the food and grabbed it and then beat her and she was in pain for a while. So I was really scared. I was like, guys, guys, for context purposes, we had children. <laughs> Right at the center of that yeah. pond, yeah. playing in that much in that instance, they were not my mates, so they were so, my seniors in the water. It started as me trying to like cajole her, babe, go now. We said, yeah. go now. She, she said, go in Jesus' name. And I said, go in Jesus' name. <laughs> Enter, like, do it. Let's take the picture and go. So, uh, five minutes later, we're still saying, go now, go now. Ten minutes, go now. Fifteen minutes. At twenty minutes, I'm like, girl, I beg. I don't have this thing. I'm like, go. <laughs> But I pushed her because I'm like, how can you a whole grown woman be afraid of turtles that are supposed to be afraid of you? So when I now realized that she was really, really fearful, I said, okay, you know what? I pulled off my shoes and then I she entered. She didn't She had to go because she, no, knowing if I saw her in, of course, it would be easier for her. So I also, I mean, it was then it was actually easier for me. She wanted this thing and I wanted it for her. So what she was doing, I won't lie, it was getting to me. Girl, I beg. <laughs> I was like, the friend was stressed. <laughs> Can we get over with this thing? So when I knew she wasn't going to do it alone, I said, okay, you know what? The only way to get her to enter was to enter. Hopefully, she would enter. So I removed my shoes and got into the water. Then she now came. She became a little bit comfortable. We took the pictures, did the videos. I was so like, now okay. to another side. No, before we went, I said, okay, Moji, do it yourself. <laughs> she would have to enter. Now, of course, I wanted her to do it alone. So, and I said, do it yourself. So everything I did, I was doing for her. Now, remember this statement I just made. Everything I did, I was doing for Moji. I will hold it in my left hand. I, did. <laughs> I was doing it for her. So I now eventually tried to get her to get into the water and do it by herself, which she did, but she was still doing all them. <laughs> oh my God, I beg this baby. <laughs> Anyway, she eventually did and I took a picture of her. We're going to put all that clip on the screen. And then I took a picture of her and then she did. And then the, the guy who was helping said, there's another part of, of the place where, where it's not 
as congested and yeah, tell that story. Yeah, tell where it. is not as congested. So we went tell there because we're the one that got all upset at that point. And then we went there. Mm-hmm. So when we were there, one of the so he had to, the, the, the trick is when you throw in their food, they all come and <laughs> <across laughs> and then they come to you. So we wanted that whole um, we wanted it for pictures. It, it was nice because they would then come gather around, try to struggle for the food. So one of them had crept up behind Winifred and scared her, and she started her butt. So she reacted for me. I was, I mean, because having her beside me gave me confidence. I was not, I was okay. For me, I was still scared. So at some point, one of them flapped their it wings. I don't know what they yes, thought yes, was on, wing, on me, Just and I swiped. I was not little. Swiped it across my leg, and I screamed. My scream scared Winifred, and then she snapped at me. So, so, so let me tell you why I snapped. Okay. So you didn't know, but the where we stood was. Is was slow. a step oh. and if I had moved one just a little bit I, bit, I would have fallen down it wasn't a leveled ground it was so I didn't know that yeah. so when you snapped at me I of course my mood changed because I was like why are you snapping at me sure already, after all the going 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 that I've been pushing I finally am in here and these people you know the I mean the wings I wasn't sure it was it, it's very sharp yes, so yes it went across my leg it wasn't wasn't like it was piercing but I just felt that I was scared it. so she now snapped at me so there was still taking pictures I was and then I got out of the mood and then we smiled and we took more pictures and we left and we left we're not going to Nungui Beach <laughs> this was where the fight now happened so it wasn't even the snap and the snap of course got me to frown but it was we not issue really because it was in two seconds but I want, now, to, I want to say that the reason why I snapped was actually because of that that's, I'm like girl you want me to fall into the water can you get me to get you explained her? that yes where are we now going we're not going through pictures like ah look at you here, here. I and mean, then even the whole power she was pushing me going going you can do this girl I'm going to my, going to my if you don't go now up, you know it was funny we were laughing we saw pictures Pictures. There was not a, p- a picture of me frowning where we were together, and I said this was where he snapped at me. You know, I just was showing her innocently. That she was like, yeah, because you were being irritating. <gasps> yeah, she was. That word irritate. I was like, why would you say I'm being irritating because I'm afraid to go inside? And so I was angry. She's like, but girl, you were being irritating. I was like, stop saying. It. She was like, what you? I kept on saying it. Yes. The more she said, the more angry she I got. <laughs> I just kept quiet. We now she now she now said okay, okay. She, she, she now got angry too, and then said okay, no problem. We now <laughs> as usual parted ways with the and sat apart. Now. Now, when we left the hotel, we had carried three beach hats that we would choose which one to wear. I mean, we didn't have one extra in case we want to just leave in the car. And I got there, me, knowing that my friend's head had already tweaked a bit. And I asked her, I knew she was, I already knew the answer. I said, oh, which of the hats? She said, I don't want any hats. <laughs> me, why would you be telling I me I just hats? carried my hat, wore okay. it, wore my shades, and plugged my ears. And then I was on my phone. I was just listening to her. I just wanted to, I'm like, I'm like, not today. Not, not today. today. Not, not today. today. So we got there. As we got into the, um, the beach, one guy was trying to stop us to explain how things would happen and the activities that they had at the beach. So the guy was just talking, talking. We were still apart. And like, apart so, this this girl. So after a while, the guy was now leading us to I think the stable where the horses are parked. Then as we're going, she now said, "Not to deal with We're not going to fight on this um, at this beach." I said, "Me, me. straight face." I'm I like, "No, me. that irritating thing you said. You must take it back." <laughs> She never put out her phone. I said, Guys, I'm reporting with you to you. Yes. But somehow, somehow, shall we just slap it off? Oh, no, we, I had to hold down. I was like, I, said, I was like, No, I was, so, no. I was not even laughing. <laughs> I was so serious. Like, we can't. I said, Hold my hand. Yes. <laughs> let, me t- let me not tell you how, how serious she was. The guy that was leading us was not asking if I was her daughter. If this was, uh, yes. I was to so show serious. you how she was speaking to me. When you find was a bully on our trip. Yes. Because I was like, Oh, she, no, not her daughter. I was like, people. People remember the goal of the trip was to have memorable experiences. Mm-hmm. My trip was not going to be filled with fights. So I said, no, this one I'm not letting you. Just held my hand. I was like, would you, I said, would you hold my hand? <laughs> so yeah, what could you go out and do it? <laughs> We would love to get home. We would like that we want to do And then we had the most fun that day. Like, that I had beach. such a good time. It was a beautiful time on that beach. We danced with the, with the yeah, members. We, we did the kayaking. The we did the drone video. We, we probably did that video. We not Why are you holding it? Girl, it's you. We are waiting for you. It's like your phone. Well, yeah, that was the second experience, but I, I think that the first experience we had helped us navigate the second one faster. Like, yes. we weren't going to let it linger. And I don't think we ever had any other issues no, no. after that. So, we moved to a new resort. We left Milia and then went to um, Kiwengwa Beach, Beach Resort. resort. So that's where we stayed for till the end of the holiday. Me, I like to do things together. I'm like, let's go together. Like, but she's like, I'm not going anywhere because the first night we went there, food options, terrible. It was so nice. That was horrible. It was terrible. We said, okay, let's give them benefit of that. We went in the morning. The it was even 
worse. It was actually worse in the morning for breakfast. So we're, we're like, we're not eating in this place again. But when we went out and came back, I was like, you know, I'll still go and check. Mm-hmm. So she didn't go with me. I was not happy, but I was like, no, no, she was tired. She was already cranky, but I had to understand that it's not every time you do it together. Because me, I'm like, I'm team. We must go together. Much is must... twin, oh. I'm very much twin. Much is twin throughout. Our face wise. Our face wise. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, very my friend and I, I carry my friend. I'm like, no, we have to. But I eventually learned that she didn't want to go, and so don't force her mm. because she will get cranky. And when yeah. friend likes her sleep, so if she doesn't get a particular number of hours, the rest the of the day. Next morning, I get very, and that's actually something I wanted to point out. Sleep for me is important. I go to bed at nine, wake up at three, sometimes four. And if I don't get that number of sleep, I also notice it on that trip that anytime I don't sleep well, the next morning I have an issue with moji because my emotions are all over the place. I'm cranky. Because I didn't sleep well. And that is also taught me that this sleep thing that I do is actually has become as um, I have mastered it so much so that it disrupts my entire day when I don't get that sleep. Yeah. Yeah. And then another reason why I didn't follow you is I don't like to put myself through suffering. That food was suffering to me. It did, funny thing, it now got better. When I didn't come. Yeah, it then got but better. But I, I don't like suffering. If so, if I've done it once, done it twice, and I didn't enjoy it, I'm not interested. So I was like, I'd rather starve than go there and eat what they had. But I didn't know you, you got upset that I didn't follow you. No upset. I just, I wanted you to, I mean, it was okay. better. I mean, me, I yeah, like we, we, my friend yeah. and I, my friend and I. Yeah. yeah. Very... So I, I don't think we had any other um, issues after that. No. Then Moji yeah. got surprised by some... Mm, they reached out to me to surprise her. We planned that we went to the we went to the rock. rock we had a fun. good time it at the rock. Oh fun. yeah, nothing else. And then it was the day we were going. Something was going. It was an impending issue, but it didn't impend. Okay, remind me because I had now learned. Let me tell you, I had now learned how to handle Winifred. Okay. So when we were when we checked out of the um, hotel in Uganda, mm-hmm. and we were um going to check. Ch- no, we're not going to check. We're going to board. We're going to the lounge. Okay, so coming when back I after the that trip. security dog. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. So when I f- so okay, oh, we yeah, got to we're going long. into the airport, right? Mm. And <laughs> me content too, and I didn't even mean she anything. Didn't know, yeah. So me, I was just doing content. I, I didn't it. even know she was taking videos. I made a vi- short video just to do oh, just random content. The guy, one very short and guy. An immigration guy. guy in Uganda. Yeah, in Uganda was so so. You know when we were about to get past us, I said, yeah. "No, two of you come back here." She was. Filming, but she was filming only the airport, the like she didn't even just the top of the airport. And I was filming security dog for content. So the guy now says, Can you check our phones? I knew what he wanted to check mm. to see if we said, No, he said, Am I on your any of your phones? Your she was confident in her no. Me, I was not because I feel like a part of him had shown when I was because when he was hold, I mean, was holding, holding the, dog. the dog. So I was like, Um, yeah, I was trying to be funny. So I quickly took my phone, I was like, Yeah, yeah, I was trying to give him, but I was quickly deleting my deleted folder is passworded, so he wouldn't have had access to it. So I'm sure he's smart, he knows that people have done stuff like that. Yeah. He's immigration, he's done psychology things, so he knew that I was um, withholding my phone for some seconds to try to deleted so he gave her back her phone and said i was i had deleted i was like yeah that and i said okay because i was like there's no point arguing with this guy he knows what i did i said yeah that i made a video but i deleted this then he, as in this guy he got mad switched he got mad just went from zero to hundred literally he got mad. and then he was like you're trying to be funny with me give me a phone so he collected her phone collected my phone i said i'm going to make sure i miss my flight yeah. like there was no reason for that so my outfit had um petals lagos so one guy saw Lagos. I said, Oh, are you going to Lagos? I said, Yes, oh, yeah, I'm out. That means you're on my flight. And then he says, What's the problem? And then I explained to him, and I was like, Ah, there's a security officer too in Nigeria. So he knows that these people can be crazy. The guy just starts going, as in, he was going, Gaga, hey, what? Like, no, that's not. Because I, I maybe he and says, then, So he took my phone. I ran after him. I'm like, Please, I, I said, oh, So he took my me. phone. And then, me, I was just calm because he was saying things that were all unnecessary. Like, I'll make sure you miss your flight. Who do you think you are? Ah, ah. And it was like, I, I had not said sorry, but I deleted, I just said I deleted it already. So he said, took my phone, I said, I'm not, I'm not going to go on that flight and he'll make sure they ban me from coming through this airport. So Uganda. So the guy, so the guy was not like trying to beg him. But before then, Winfrey was also trying to talk to him and he was like, no, no, see, she cannot come and beg. Uh, see, it was just being funny. Yeah, yeah. So, so, Winfrey, so his just, problem was that Emoji didn't come to say sorry at the time she was. But he was irate. Yeah. Yeah. That was for me. I wanted him to calm down because the emotions were all over the place. Well, it was but not, yeah, 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 what had down. happened. I deleted mm-hmm. the video. I showed him my phone, you know. So Winifred now just goes, keep your ego and come and beg. At that point, no, I was... I don't say keep your ego. I said, just come and say sorry. Said, no, no, just something about forget. No, 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 no I never you said did. ego. You did. Girl, I have videos though. No, you were not saying I never said ego. You did. you did. You did. I remember. You were like, keep your, keep your, keep the damn ego. Something like, something about keep the ego and come and apologize to him. At that point, I was actually upset. I was like, Winifred, I'm going to, but in the midst of all that guy shouting, I'll make sure you miss the flight. I'll make so sure... So let me tell the story from my point of view. 
I don't think like you realize you said what you did. No, I don't but let me tell the story for myself. Something about Moji and I were on a queue going through to enter the airport to go and board to go through immigration yes. and then board. So uh, we were making the. I mean, we were making content. The guy stops and says, "Am I in your video?" And I was like, "Yeah, please see, I beg." Because she was sure that. And I didn't know Moji was filming. So when I noticed Moji's um, reaction, yeah, I noticed she had fi- she was filming at the time. So when she kept holding back, the guy realized, of course, she was trying to delete something. So eventually, she kept stalling and. Me, I was like, oh, that's it. I wanted to distract the guy from Moji. See my own. So that she can have time to finish. So see my own. The guy he never took my phone. He never said, he never said, no, I don't want your own. The guy was speaking on me. He's <laughs> like, I So eventually, when, um, of course, there was no time. He now, Moji now said, see. He now said, no, you've deleted it. It's in your, it's in your being. Open your being. That's what I want to see. And then the next thing, the guy took Moji's phone and did not give it back to her. I knew that that was going to be a problem because I've experienced something like that on another trip before. Not with me, with someone else where the immigration officers actually said Mm-mm, you were rude a friend of mine spent one month and a half in jail in the netherlands because of issues like this as well so because i knew the impact of what had happened immediately he took her phone and gave it to the other woman and i followed him and i'm like please sir I she was begging him and there was no way on earth i'm going to leave my friend in uganda <laughs> if anything happened so i said begging i threw my pride to the side i said i beg Sir, should I kneel down for you? I'll do whatever it takes to because this man was adamant. And at he that was time, being unnecessary. I thought, no, you can't say unnecessarily because at that time he had every right to do whatever he wanted to do. So me, I just wanted the situation to be doused. About five minutes later was when the security man came in. After I started begging and kept begging and kept begging. So because I kept begging, and Moji just stood to one side and didn't come. She didn't no, say. Do you understand why? The guy was, no, was great, great. He was going. Wait, let me finish. No, let me finish. Let me finish my own point okay. of view. My own point of view. This is how I saw it. So after I kept begging for five minutes, and the person who is the one who is supposed to be the one coming to do the begging didn't move from the spot. I could understand why the guy got angrier because at that point his male ego was at play. He just wanted someone to come and caress it, and the person who he was going to listen to was Moji because it was Moji that had offended him. So in that instance, when the security guy that that came that now came about seven minutes later now saw what was happening and tried to enter the matter i was like oh no let's not make this a public issue so later i told to moji girl come and apologize to this man and let's get out of here what are we doing here and there were lots of other people on the queue as well that was when i told to her i'm like girl drop this thing and come and apologize and let us go from my point of view so moji was like no Winifred, the man is not listening to me no. the man can't listen to me he's he's oh. been um there was one word she used. <laughs> He's been an irate, I'll be irate. What was that English? No. It was English. But irate. But wait, wait. Let me tell you something. I wish you guys. What I told you guys was just. What I told Moji at that point. That was not the time to speak English. That was not the time to say who is right and who is wrong. That was not the time to wait. Our flight was in one hour. Also remember this. Our flight was in less than one hour. Mm-hmm. And that man, than an hour, but, 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 but that, man, excuse. that man had every right to seize her phone. At some point he, he took, took my passport. Thought. So the guy was overdoing. But he had every right to do it. And because of what Inasa is saying about how he can go into the immigration and put her name in the file. That he will make sure you don't fly this airport again. They will ban you. He could have easily done that. But so I now understood the repercussion. Remember my friend who spent over one month in detention in the Netherlands because he was just being heady as well. I said, girl, you better come and apologize. And let's go out of here because you know that I can't leave you here. Whatever happens to you happens to me. That was why I turned to her. And I didn't mind at that time. And this is also where keeping your friends accountable in check comes into play. Because if I was the one doing that, I expected us to come and say, I beg, come and apologize and let's get out of here. So I didn't say, come and apologize no, from a place of... And I'm not, I'm just saying that in that moment, eh, the guy was already, I was in my head, like he had already said too many unnecessary things and was off. I get, I, I and get then my that. friend, and you were begging him on, like, take just <sighs> massage, sorry. No, and then the guy was like, oh, no, I'll deal with you. Guys, you, you will not fly. You, you will not. So I was like, okay, when he, when he's, when he's, when he breathes a bit, I will now go and meet him. But what she what? did is what, what, she, what she didn't actually know is that that man was not going to breathe a bit. The only thing that was going to make him breathe a bit was her apology. Was I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Sure she sure came too. and then said sorry. The elderly, the other security man now told her, yeah, come and say sorry. And then the minute she said sorry, 
the man was like, he gave out the password. Was like, no, immediately he was still me. doing. Who do you think? He was saying, who do you think you are? Well, you are more more than this. Yes. Yeah. He just went on and on, but eventually he gave out the password. So no, the, the point I was trying to make is, I wasn't, I, I didn't turn at you and say, no, no come and say sorry because I. You were, were, of course, you were trying to get us out of there because you could have turned to a bigger man. Because if you Uganda. stayed in Uganda, I, I can't leave you. And the whole Ulana be telling a uh, uh, woman saying, no, I feel like situations can easily be avoided. If we just say, sir, okay, I know, I'm sorry, I'm your daughter, please forgive me, please, I apologize. Moji wasn't going to do it, <laughs> No, 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 I was going to, I just wanted him to calm she down. She wasn't interested. No, no, no. I see, it's just like Nigeria, for people you don't argue with, just huh? allow them have their, just, just. And say, to be honest, that experience, I was like, okay, I've never been in it before, I've only heard. I'm like, okay, how am I, how am I supposed to get out of this? If this thing escalates. Who are we going to call? Me, I started thinking, okay, who's, who are we going to call? Who's our friend in high places? <laughs> <laughs> so, but until when it now came, you, you had a meeting. Okay, so you also had a meeting. So yes! You had a meeting. You were trying to, to go and be on that meeting. Thank you so you had much. A Zoom meeting. Yes, yes, yes. I think that was it. So I needed to be on a meeting and then this guy was delaying and the meeting had already started and they kept texting like, when are you joining in? Are you joining? And I'm like, I'm almost at the lounge. But then we now met this delay and I was like, we need to get out of here. So I now, I begged this man. I, I almost even knelt down, but of course I didn't kneel down. Just so that the man would let us go. Moji was begging him. Moji refused though. No. So, so I didn't even was, I was holding on. That's why, you know, I, I didn't say, sir, give my phone. I was, I didn't, I didn't say a word. Moji maintained her. Demurity. <laughs> she was so, no, no, I was just waiting. Let me tell you something here. Eh? If you were the one in the situation, eh, and you were the one aggravated, and you saw how calm, you know nothing like to teach you people, <laughs> that maintain your calm when someone is angry, that thing would pain them. That was exactly <laughs> what happened. Moshi <laughs> didn't move an inch. She was like, when you are done. There's something I want to say about, can we say it on camera? Say it, say it, say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> Yeah, but um, oh but when we got to the lunch, I had a meeting. We sat, we sat there. We both didn't say anything to each other. But I was like, "Nah, we're not fighting." Moji was so calm. Then we did. Oh, we're not fighting. We're not fighting. But yeah. I just felt some silence. No, no, no. The reason okay, I was okay. silent was because I was on my meeting. After the meeting, you not talk to me. No. After the meeting, you not talk to me, Sha. Babe, how did we now get to? And you now did you just switch? And no, no. You, and then it was you. Then all of a sudden, you just switched. I started making you like, "Moji, this is happening. We have to do the video." And then I'm like, "This girl loves me too much, but she will not be doing so." Oh no, no, I wasn't calm. I, I promise you. Well, maybe I thought you were never going after the whole. Cause even remember, even when that woman made me unpack my box, I was so angry. Okay, I don't think I told you about that experience. She oh yes, you told me. Yes, yes, yes. And she was yes. like, "Pack up." As that, in, yeah, that got to her. So too. I was so angry. So I just sent it. No, like, but I know, promise you, for real, for oh, real. I thought you were. I was not after the whole the immigration guy and the sniffing police. Okay. Oh no no! I understood what happened there. Imagine I think I even told you that what was happening there was just male ego at play. That man wanted to be appeased. So like that that of course that was you didn't do anything to me now. Mm-hmm. So why would I be angry? Just like this girl, you know, apologize. I was apologizing was on my own. behalf. No, no I know that I had. But to we had a good end. But the it trip. was a beautiful the, trip. The flight back home was it was amazing. a beautiful <laughs> trip. It was a beautiful beautiful <laughs> trip. We had the yeah. shopping at the airport. Yeah. You bought me stuff. She pampered she me. Pampered. Okay, okay, I got you. Oh, what, what was what was the highlight of guys? The highlight of this trip for me, well, not the highlights. One of the highlights was when Moji and I got to the, I think Ugandan airport. We were well, from Uganda to Nigeria, and then they had called us to come on board, but we were being given <laughs> Eventually. The airline hostess had to come and call us from the from lounge. The lounge exactly. Are you? Would you believe yeah. even pilot is waiting for you guys? Now, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> you are supposed to be running to the airport. We're the ones keeping the whole plane waiting. We're supposed to be running with our heels. I left touching our head. Moji got to the um to their stand uh, because I'd already bragged and said, "Girl, you will not asked. break my record of never been. I've never been called at the airport before for business." You say, we said, one year gone, but, but she has been called. So I was like, "Girl, you won't break my record." She was like, "You know what? I'm going to break that record." <laughs> so she went to the public address system, picked the mic, and started. She couldn't even work. Oh. It didn't work. Until it worked, I pressed it, put it on, push it up. Then you know. <laughs> She said, "When you don't want her, your body has." I'm like, "Girl, if you wanna go and buy the air hostess, yes, she was, was rolling." She was rolling. Oh, she did not. It will not work, my sister. Let's go. This is a boarding call. Please proceed. We are waiting for you. The captain is waiting for you. Only two. Girl. I saw 
saw another side emoji daddy in fact any, when i posted that video on my on my stories on whatsapp a lot of my friends were like they never would have thought that emoji was the kind of person so i know i saw another side to her entirely for me that was one of the highlights of the trip like she was so bold and fearless i couldn't have done what she did i wouldn't even lie so yeah we eventually got on the plane we now got our real yeah we had a good we had a good emoji was begging for internet on the plane <laughs> we wanted to make a post before we got it before we took off sorry there was um, we went to meet the air hostess as well. Okay, please give us well, business class um, f- um flyers. Yes. Please give us a. Uh, they said they didn't have they like, don't the have off. I just saw one fine boy. Where behind. find you? I'm like, okay. Brushed my hair, wore my shades. I'm like, excuse me, can I please? Can I give us internet? We shall give us. We, we shall post them. We did everything. It was a good trip. It was a good we trip. We had fun. Back. We had fun. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the lessons in like just in summary of everything. Like all these stories that we have told, right? This the the lesson. The lessons that I personally want you people to pick from it is friendship has two sides, and having a girlfriend is is actually equivalent, if not more, is the same thing as having a boyfriend. Being in marriage. Being in marriage. <laughs> I promise you, it's still the same thing as two individuals with two different personalities, two different emotions. We may be alike, we may share the same values, but we have different personalities. Moji's personality and mine are different. Moji is a total, and I, I got to know her better from this trip. Have it at the back of your mind, or even in front of your mind, that two girlfriends coming together, if you're, if you're sure you want to make it work, then you have to get ready for the work. There's a lot of work involved. Mental work, emotional work, physical, physical work. Yeah. There's a lot of work involved. And don't run away from doing the work. Don't try to throw it under the carpets. As the issues are arising, deal with them immediately. This would actually help tighten the bond. As many people think that it would maybe maybe make you make you apart. apart. No. And it, it depends help. on how mature you are. Conversations yeah. are not supposed to. You're supposed yeah. to clear things, not to now dampen Advocate things and make it worse. No. Every time we spoke, in fact, from that first time, it was like we just started being friends all over. Like it was so fun, and I love that we spoke about it. And I was just like, "What was I not crying? Like, what was wrong with me?" You know, I was so angry at myself. But I like that we had the conflict, and then I like how we now resolved it. You the know, matter. it helped us to see ourselves better, see ourselves differently, and understand understand ourselves even better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So the lesson is, you can't avoid the hard parts, the hard stuff, the hard conversations. The hard situations is all part of the relationship. You see us, <laughs> my queen, my girl, my babe. <laughs> as much as we've had that moment, we've also had these hard moments we've explained. We've also had very deep emotional moments where I'm crying to her about things that hurt me. Maybe for my, like I'm sharing past experiences and I'm crying to her. She's crying to me, talking to me about things that are very dear and personal to her. Same thing. With this. It's all round. So be prepared. It's not when your friend is coming to you with emotional matters and you're like, I beg, this one is too much for me. <laughs> Prepare for it. Prepare for the tears. Prepare for the for the emotions, the carrying of face, the being in the feelings. Prepare for all of those things because that those are the things that actually help tighten your bond. I tell you the truth, there's no way on earth that Moji and I have not become stronger than we were before we went on that trip. It's not possible. And don't don't carry baggage from a previous friendship That's into a, good a one. new friendship That's because a good one. there's some things that would have happened and I'd be like, you know what, this is why I like That's to be on my yes. own. That's a good this is why one. I don't want to have any friend. This is why I don't... <sighs> That's a calm good down. Relax. Sometimes it's just a conversation that you need. Yes. And be, you have to see friendships require vulnerability. Sure. You have, imagine me crying for that. Do you know how, I mean, I'm looking back, I'm like, why was I crying? What was wrong with you? Mm-hmm. But I, I had to let out how I was, was feeling. Yeah. And I didn't want to let go of the friendship. It was, it's not something I want. I'm not letting her go in the next 100 years yeah. or 200 years. You know, it's a pact. Right. <laughs> you know, but I said to myself that I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to let the hurt from, I mean, I've been, I've had friendship heartbreaks a lot of it right i'm not going to let what happened in that friendship happen here yeah i must do things differently, differently and hold this person dear to my heart so even when, if i'm hurt i will let her know that i don't like what you did here and this is what i'm feeling and even if she says i'll say no, this is how i'm feeling yes and then we'll talk about it mm-hmm. i shy away from difficult conversations but you can't keep shying can't. away from it if you want your relationships even if it's you know male female or female female male male if you want it to work you must have Sweet. those difficult conversations it's not always the easiest so it's i mean it's hard because you're like oh I'm telling her how I first should be. She would think I'm weak. I'm no, you're not weak.
weak. True. Having those conversations does not make you weak. It makes you even stronger as, as a matter of fact. Yeah. So, yeah. And forgiveness is a part. See, you know how they say marriage is to forgive, to forgive us living together. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with friendships. To forgive us who have chosen to do life together. Pretty much. You mm-hmm. must be, because I'm not perfect. She's not perfect. Right? So I cannot say I'm perfect and so she's the one that has the flaws. I have my flaws. Yes. She has her own flaws Everybody, and she yeah. will learn. Yeah. And I would also learn how to deal better with her and she will learn how to deal better with me. We'll compromise here and there and then still make it work. So. It's all about making it work finding the middle ground if it's in, first of all you have to be sure that it's important to you if it's important to you then you go above and beyond to ensure that the, the friendship stays thriving do your parts drop the pride drop the ego this is your sister be sisters right be sisters do what it takes if it means you apologizing crying reporting her to her uncles and her aunt. <laughs> I already told her. If she tries me, <laughs> yo, I'm going to take a microphone and I'll blast it. I'll go on the internet. <laughs> Guys, I'll go on live. People, I'm not living this life until you buy the accent. Guinness Book of Record will take me as the highest life. The longest minute spent on IG life. But, but we're just saying this to let you know that yes, the good parts will be there. We go to restaurants, we post pictures, we comment, we hype each other, we root for each other. I'm in a house. You know, she's supporting me. I'm supporting her. Beyond that, there'll be those moments where you know we have you know our heads will clash a bit just because we're humans mm-hmm. after all and mm-hmm. so we have like you said different personalities mm-hmm. however in the midst of that not ev- don't always be quick to cut people off Thank or you. be quick to start posting friends are there for the day or you know, those Thank funny quotes you. that you just we you know when you're having issues when you start finding those applicable quotes that don't make sense mm. in that matter yeah. in that instance right yeah. just instead swallow your pride swallow it. and remember why you became friends in the first yes. place and stay true to your friend and you know just also humble yourself it requires humility forgiveness tolerance communication thank communicate you. open your mouth thank you when you assume something say uh, no, no, no no actually don't assume anything if you feel a certain way say, say so that and she might not be thinking that way you know look at things that you know we learned about ourselves just here. talking about i thought she was talking about me like she started of the trip and me you know but she was just saying i mean the experience she had not necessarily me there i was in my feelings saying she's tired of me so talk about it don't assume anything you know forgive be humble be vulnerable love 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 love, 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 love your friends i mean be genuine love. in your love yeah. towards your friend and just to just to t- talk about the, um, what Mojis talked about um cutting people off right i think that the most important thing is re- just acknowledge and accept the fact that there will be times where you want to strangle this friend <laughs> and throw her to the garbage but always remember think about the core of the person's personality is the core or the very essence of that person good for you valuable to you try to separate your friend from their actions because sometimes people are exhibiting an act that's not in line with their person or the core of their person. And it's your responsibility as their friend to be able to differentiate between the two. Okay, this is just for now. This is not who she is. She may be going through something. So you must understand that the po- at that time, maybe she's going through a difficult time. Maybe she's going through an hormonal issue. Maybe it's her period. Maybe she's going through stress at work. So you have to be able to discern what the problem is and separate her from like that don't just chip in one day you called me yeah that you then said after I was done with the call, yes. I thought I was masking my feelings. After I was done with the call, you then said, like, You were a bit cold. Are you okay? She could have imagined, assumed different things. She could have just been in her head thinking all sorts of things, but she just sent me a message. And all that I said, I was like, Thank you for pointing it out because I'm actually having a rough day and things, some things didn't work out. And yeah. you know, people disappointed and then it's affecting my work. Yeah. So she noticed that my voice was not yeah. my normal Herself. voice. And my, I mean, my I was not my bubbly self. And then she messaged me. She wasn't assuming that maybe she's angry. Maybe. Why she give me an attitude. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't want. You know that's how we are. Yeah, I beg, I beg, I beg, yeah, I beg. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about it. I knew it wasn't who she was, and so I was like, "Are you fine? Is there anything go- bothering you?" And she explained. And she then asked, "How can I help?" Yeah. You know, again. So after asking, she was like, "Oh, how can I help?" Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that's why I'm, that's that's um, the what, what I was trying to say. Separate the person's actions from their character, from who they truly are. And the only way to know that is when you really know the core of this person. For me, with Moji, Moji is a good person. Whether she comes tomorrow and she does whatever she does in the spur of the <laughs> moment. I know deep down that she's a, she's a good person with a good heart. 
who has deep love and reverence for God, when you meet a person who reveres and respects God, I promise you that person will have righteousness in them and everything they do, they will try to ensure that everything they do is within the tenets of that righteousness. So because I know she's someone who reveres God, who cares about God and things that concern him, I know that she will not necessarily want to do anything that's out of the character of a child of God. And because of that, if she's doing anything I don't like in the moment, I'm like, no, that's not my friend. She's going through something. Let's deal with that thing. And then afterwards, we push that thing aside and continue the friendship. That's one big lesson that I have learned from being friends with her as well. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't even like, I popped out at the gym. <laughs> this was so therapeutic though. It was, it was. It ah, was girl, it was, thank was, you for everything. You. For everything, like for real. Like, always you. sisters, always, always friends. friends. Let's stay real close till the end. Forgiving each other, letting love conquer. Always sisters, always friends. <laughs> Okay. We hope you learned a thing or two. I know, Let us yes. know in the comment section what I you know feel. I learned something. I know. This episode was so wholesome for me. Definitely. That's all we have for you. That's all we have for you. Thanks Let's so much. <laughs> Take care, family. Bye. Bye.